And so when we are stuck in a situation that does feel toxic and we're feeling really drained, what we must do is uh, go towards our kids or go towards our pets or go towards anything that makes your love quotient fill up back up again, your love energy. Um, because you're literally depleted. That energy is so, is real. Um, and they'll, that energy will fill you back up. You know, after I left the hospital, my dad picked me up and he was so loving and caring and, and compassionate towards what happened. And, and, and everybody was so compassionate towards, towards me that I, I filled up, I felt so rejuvenated after all of that happened. I felt like a brand new person. And not only was I getting uh, love and care from other people, I was giving myself the love and care that I needed, the rest that I needed. Um, because ultimately it starts out with yourself and you must love yourself and your system and I was telling my body every day, like, I love you, skin, you can make it through this rash, you can make it through this illness, I love you, I love you, Becky, I love your heart, you're, you, you know, you can tell yourself that it's not ego if you tell yourself, I love you, Becky, Susie, whatever your name is, I think you're amazing, my system works amazingly perfect, um, my... I'm, I'm truly amazed by my body and how it recovered from that illness. And I don't, I, I don't hold any negativity onto the situation at all. Uh, I think it was a good thing I got sick because I needed that love. I needed it so bad. And boom, I'm getting love everywhere now. And I'm holding on to that light. And that's what you need to do in your reality is look at what's beautiful the stars are aligning for us tonight and we have such an opportunity right now to look at the world that was right in front of our eyes the whole time but we were blocking ourselves from seeing and <laughs> it's it's my, my world's changing right in front of my face. Right in front of me. And guys, if you went through some tough challenges, it's because your chakras needed to be cleared up. And we, you know, spirit wants to speed up this process and get and, and, and visit with us again and be in the same realm as us. Also, a big thing before my final ascension, um, I called my higher self in and I said, higher self, please take over controls of my mind, my system, my heart, my soul, because you know what to do. I will take care of my physical body, but I need my, I need my higher self to help me um, control that mind that goes wild sometimes. And I am my higher self now. I am, I'm, I'm her, and you can be your higher self too. It's no more for me now, it's no more calling in my higher self because I've integrated my higher self into my system. It's here full time and there's so much more to this whole process. I could talk for hours and hours and hours but I know the main thing that my light beauties need right now is to know that the negativity is a choice that you can overcome. And negative things, yeah, they'll creep up, they'll happen. Uh, but you'll be shown the second that you choose the right path, you start getting gifts lined up for you. Boom, 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 boom. It's it's truly incredible. And um, so let me look at my notes to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, yeah, last night I was watching TV and the late show comes on and I'm watching and I noticed 
the two girls, they were famous people that were being interviewed um, on the late night show. I'm not sure exactly what their names are right now, but these two girls look like girls that I would invite over to my house. Like they were real. They weren't plastic, fake. They, they were laughing, joking, having a good time. Um, the girl didn't have her hair all perfect and they were just being real. And that's a huge thing in the new world is that you're gonna start to notice more real. And you're gonna be able to point out what's plastic and, and what's real. And the new world appreciates real truth and um, real beauty. Okay, so um, let's see. Yeah, they, these girls weren't overly glammed up. They were just being them. And I thought, there we go. That's my world changing. The old world would have had somebody on that was completely plastic and fake and you know, you know the type. Um, so let's see my notes. You have the Democrats. And guys, I'm fine driving right now. It's just a slow road and <laughs> don't worry about that. But uh, this is what I wrote in my notes yesterday. Uh, the event is now. Welcome to the new world, guys. Real is in, fake is out on TV, like I said, I'm seeing actresses, it's an example to show me that real is truly in, the democratic debate showed me how we had people that were used to be, would have been afraid of telling their personal, we have a man who is um, it, who is married to a man on the panel, we never would have had that before but he's being his real true self and he's not afraid to step out and say, this is me, this is who I am. Um, we had a woman talk about how her father was an alcoholic and, and her childhood, she didn't have much money. They, they, were, they were real people and they weren't afraid to show their true colors. They weren't trying to portray this perfect image to us that wasn't uh, they weren't afraid to come out with their shadows and just put it out there. Transparency, that's huge. And everybody's gone through some trials and tribulations now. And I think we can even connect closer to people who have been through some rough times. So uh, we don't want to hide our shadows any longer. We're good. <laughs> We're truth workers. This world is a world of the truth, of life. And what else did I write? Um, let's see about the politics. Um, yeah, they were holding nothing back about their personal stories. They spoke of real issues. That to me is showing that change from the in, started from the inside of me. I'm seeing it in per personal people in my life, and now I'm seeing it in the world. So we are definitely close to that final stage. Um, yeah, we are, it's progress. It's definitely, I feel the love everywhere. I feel the love that you guys are sending out all over. Um, and definitely disclosure, the um, spirit world of, I guess some of them you would call ETs, definitely did not could not come out until they knew they were safe and protected in love and light and uh so that's why you know the big people of our leadership uh government have to be of the light in order to show disclosure because they don't they definitely don't want to get like bombed down or something um so these people are going to show them love when they come in we're we're excited about this we're excited about our ancient ancestors coming coming out and greeting us we're not scared do not fear for oh it's huge we have nothing to fear other than fear itself and boy is that the truth nothing to fear we are taken care of guys uh, Let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, I'm just really excited now. I know we're we're nearing the end of um, the end of the beginning. 
and the end and the beginning, I should say, and the flip, the flip side of our reality. Um, so yeah, the, while the truth comes out more and more, um, the dark is going to run. The, this is what I put here. We will be seeing more and more of this, this real beauty. Um, for the truth shall definitely, ultimately set the light free. Um, the light has nothing to hide from. We have n nothing, no shame we can tell our truth. Um, so the light is being set free while making the dark cower in their own shadows. So definitely a clue as to what's fake and dark and, and, and everything is. Those people will not bring out truth about themselves. They will not bring out their shadows. They will make themselves appear to be this perfect individual who never sinned. And we know that nobody, nobody is perfect. Everybody has shadows. But the light, anybody of the light, which is most people, are being guided now to um, not be afraid to say, hey, this is me. I have sinned. I have shadows. I have things I've dealt with in the past. This is me. I And I'm not ashamed of it. And so, yeah, it's... <laughs> Uh, there's so much, just so much to this, but here's another thing I wrote. The fake versus real, the dark versus light. It's all becoming so apparent and blatantly obvious of who and what is of the light. The essence of... <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, guys, really driving here. I'm fine. This highway is not busy. But anyway, the essence of... The true essence of our own creator and what is just sat there as a stumbling block wait you know what I'm gonna stop this video because it's really I interrupt myself in the middle of my thing I'm gonna stop this video and come back and, and do this on a separate video uh, just because it's really hard to post really long videos on YouTube it takes like all day so um, hang on I will be back with the second half of Ascension, this is real. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay, I'll be right back.